What's up YouTube? It's the solution for the solution for kicks. It's kind of a tongue twister when I say it back to back. Back with another dope video. And I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking about what type of shoe this is. A big surprise. Um, there's no B-roll or lead-in to me going into the mall or opening up a box or anything like that. I did go to the mall. I went to Ingram Park Mall. We're at the class today just to be curious to see what I probably might run out and grab Saturday actually. I was doing some scouting. And um, sometimes when you're not looking, it finds you. It's kind of like love. When you don't look for it, that's when you find the best situations in life. But that's a, another vlog, if you will, I should talk about. But I'm not going to. We're here for the sneakers, right? None of that love stuff, the solution. We know you're a smooth guy. Yeah, okay. But we're going to talk about these shoes. From time to time, I get suggestions about certain sneakers that I probably would like or should like. Or it's just a suggestion. You know, hey, check these out. What do you think? I think you would look pretty cool in there. Hey, I think this is something you would rock. Have you seen these? In particular, this was um, one of those, I think you would wear these. And um, yeah, actually I would. Now the funny part about it is that the person that sent me the shoes, they want these. And um, I, I guess they could have gotten them, but they suggested to me. And at the time I thought I could only get them online because this is a youth shoe right here. This is a youth shoe. And um, actually it's a girl's. You know, it's for a female. But I wear size nine, nine and a half. And sometimes the youth releases go up to a nine and a half. And uh, I was not expecting to see these. So shout out to my man, Eric, at Foot Action Ingram Park Mall. That is the dude, man. Good looking out. Um, sometimes I walk in the stores and they have stuff in the back that they're about to put out. And it's like, hey, we got these. Okay, we're putting them on right now. We just got to move the shelving around or something like that. Or, hey, did you know we, we actually have these in a nine and a half, but they're in the back. Let me go grab them, check them out. So here's what happened with those. I walked in, um, just to holler at them, really, and check out. I was actually tempted to buy some more Sockenies. That's why I was really in it, because Foot Action always has a crazy sale on Sockenies. And that's probably what I'm going to cop this Saturday along with, I don't know. I don't know. I might get those um, flight suit blues that are coming out. The Jordan 5 flight suit blues, I guess is... I should. I got the red ones right there, right? Will the military release them? I don't know. But we're here to talk about this particular shoe today. Let's get into it. And I think another shoe tuber with way more subscribers than me briefly mentioned this shoe because like myself, he has a smaller foot. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see this. It's not a flaw, but see this mesh right here? I guess when they were making the mold for this shoe, um, and they were, I guess, putting the little um, ovals in here, the vented, the vented ovals, they left a piece of the material right there. I wonder if y'all could see that. Check that out. See that little piece dangling, like right, ooh, I almost knocked the table over. Right there, yeah. So I'm gonna pull that off. Oh. All right. Maybe it should be at the outlet. Nah, these, these are straight. These are foot action. But these are the Aris, okay? The Aris, the Jordan 5 Aris. And I love this colorway. Um, people calling it bronze and gold, all right? Nike says, well, Jordan brand, pardon me, says, Black, black, light bone. They don't even mention these uh, the metallic like um, transition right here, and it's camouflage. Y'all know I love camouflage. You know I did the the camouflage in red fives, the stuccos. Um, but you know I, I love fives. I do. I cop some um, dunk from above's at the uh, the Spurs sneaker jam for the low for ninety dollars, and those sneakers go for like one sixty, one seventy five. But here we are again, here with a pair of fives. And I am digging these. So I'm just gonna call this gold. You know, this is gold to me in here. And I, I'm, man, I'm, I'm telling you, this is a dope, dope sneaker. Any 3M on here? I don't think so. I don't think there's any 3M from I'm looking at. But I think there is. I'm gonna have to, yeah, my light is not picking it up. Just from seeing the camouflage, um, 
superimposition, if you will, that's in here on this background. I, I want to say there's some 3M possibly in here to make this camouflage look pop. These are dope. I'm going to slide the, um, the display platform over so you guys can get a good look at them. Bring those in there, zoom it up. But yeah, shout out to my man Eric at Foot Action for um, hooking me up. All right, and telling me they have these in the back. Because I come in the store so much, he he remembered me picking these up. That's what it was. He remembered me picking them, and his, his um, employee was like, yeah, man, we do have those in the back. And we were just talking about you. You know, he said, yeah, man, you know, your man would probably come in and cop these. So I had no intentions of looking for these at all. So this is an awesome um, come up and I'm loving these, man. You know, you got the translucent sole right there, nice and gold and icy with the light bone. And you know, the, the lace keepers right there. I don't think there's any 3M. I'm not seeing it reflect on the tongue. That's a big thing with the fives, as you know, there's always some 3M on the tongue. But I, I'm digging these, man. These are these are nice. So um, to the the Bigfoot lady that probably walked in the store looking for these, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and the words of uh, Mrs. Carter. But man, he, these are fly. I'm telling you, I got a couple of outfits. I'm gonna sit this box back here. You know, no need for that to match these. So I know you, you always want to talk about pricing. The solution, man. I know you didn't pay full retail. Of course not. I never pay full retail. All right. It's got to be something pretty uh, dramatic for me to go. You know, something. Forget it. I'll take them for that price. Forget the the bargain, the the discount that I get. Man, just give them to me. No, no. I've worked too hard for my money. Okay. So if I can get them from the low or the lower, I will. Coming in at uh yeah 160 because it's a a grade school shoe um but of course what did i pay out of my pocket 134 all right with my discount 128 with the 20 percent off course is 8.25 here in texas so 134 134 yeah 134 on these i don't have the receipts in the bag i was so excited i took some pictures and sent them to my friend i was like hey check these out peep i'm about to do the video on them you know so yeah these will probably be worn tomorrow got something going on tomorrow and i, I gotta look fresh and dope so i'm gonna roll these out i got plenty of kicks that are straight dead stock right behind me that i could probably roll out and um hey shout out to the the shack gnosis right there i know some of y'all probably wondering what are those the solution these are the reebok shack gnosis this is a sneaker i always wanted in high school but we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about these man jump man on the back Oh, this is just flavor upon flavor right there. The sharp teeth popping. Uh, black laces. Someone asked me, um, my friend asked me, would you put like a gold or bronze lace in here? No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Actually, you'd be kind of hard pressed to find um, the, uh, the the laces that, that match the stitching in here is what you would go with, this gold stitching in here. So of course, um, hey, the solution is this really, a youth release it says right there on the box and when you get a youth release you know you get that little extra special something in here that Jordan Brand likes to give you they like to give you the gold jump man that's how you know you've gotten a, uh, a youth release sneaker so I'm gonna throw that back in the box maybe my daughter wanted I have quite a few of those around here uh, but no biggie right there Happy with the purchase, was not intending to um, buy these, but this was a come up. This was definitely a come up. Let me put these back in here. I, like I said, I plan, I plan to wear these tomorrow and the event I'm going to, you know, it, it's, it's somewhat of a classy deal, if you will. But when you got an image of being Mr. Nice Kicks amongst your friends, they kind of expect you to come through with uh some flavor. So I, I got something kind of swanky and fly to throw on there. And I always tell people, you, you never mention me talking about swag because I'm a grown man. Grown men have style. Younger men have swag. I'm a grown man. I'm old enough to be some of your dads. So I don't do the swag thing, I do style. 
Speaking of style, shout out to Reason Clothing right there for the shirt. Appreciate you. Um, keep doing what you're doing out there, man. Dope, dope um, products and, and merch that you got there. Your pieces are hidden at all times. I've been telling people about you out here in San Antonio. And um, some people have gone online and actually looked for this shirt and a couple other shirts that I have. But I'm out of here. Remember, it's not about how much you paid for the sneaker. It's why did you pay that much? Boom.